Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new here. My name is Emma, I make videos, I post every Sunday at 8 o'clock, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can go down below and do that right now. Also, my Instagram is in the description box below if you want to go check that out. This video is kind of a turning point for my channel. Actually, not so much as a turning point, more as like an adding point. Because if you've been on my channel for a while, then you know that I do DIYs, vlogs, and just like fun videos like that. But I wanted to do more advice based videos recently and so I thought that this would be the best time to do it. Now since I didn't get to film a video like this specific one at the beginning of the year when school was starting for everyone, I thought since I'm going back to school this week and I'm sure a lot of people are around this time, then this would be the perfect time to film this video. Now just a little disclaimer, I know that I'm not an expert in this in any way, apart from the fact that I'm just a high schooler and I'm talking about my own personal experiences. So with that in mind, let's just get into the video. So something very important that you want to do in high school is to stay true to yourself. Don't pretend to be someone else to try to please others. If you get into that mentality of always trying to please different groups of people, you're never really gonna find that group of people that really understand you. If you're someone who's afraid to make friends in high school, then being true to yourself is the best way to actually do that. And I know that this sounds kind of cliche and cheesy, but it's true. If you express yourself and your opinions and your ideas, people with those same opinions and interests and things will draw close to you and that's how you can make true friends who actually want to be interested in the things that you're also interested in. People will also notice that you're being genuine and they like that genuineness I guess. So to go along with number one, pick your friends wisely. Don't try to be besties with the first person that gives you attention. When you're looking for someone to be friends with, look for qualities that you would like in a friendship. For me, something that's really important when I'm picking friends is to look for honesty in others because without honesty, you can't have trust and without trust, you just can't have a genuine relationship. And honestly, that's all I'm looking for in high school is to just have genuine relationships with my friends and hopefully those will lead into somewhere into college and even past college. Obviously, everyone's gonna value different types of characteristics, so you can look for different things like when someone's caring for others or the way that they interact with other people. Just someone being genuine and being nice, those are the kind of things that you wanna look for when you're looking for someone to be your friend. When you're in high school, you should try to get involved in extracurricular activities but don't get involved in every extracurricular activity. Getting involved in these activities can help you for a number of reasons. You can meet new people, explore new interests, and just have fun with something that you probably didn't know that you were gonna like so much. At my school, I'm involved in musical theater, student council, and volleyball. And actually, through all of those, I've been able to experience meeting new people, exploring new ideas that I didn't even think I was gonna like these different things, and then also just getting to know people better in a way that I didn't think that I could through just school. Now something that I find very important to do since I'm in high school is to stay organized. If I don't stay organized, then I'm gonna have all of these papers just around my house or in my backpack or somewhere at school, just everything lost and not organized and that way I can't focus on what I'm trying to do. Okay, so I know that this one can sound stupid to some people, but I genuinely think that this is really important. So maybe if you're someone like me and you know that if you don't keep yourself accountable through something like a planner or writing it down on your hand or something like that, then you won't get it done. Then you should all probably take this advice and look into trying to buy yourself a planner or figuring out some other method, maybe like putting a reminder on your phone so that you'll do your homework that night. I just know personally that if I don't write it down, the assignment to do, then when I get home, I'm gonna click on Netflix and I'm gonna zone out for probably more time than I probably should be. So if I have that reminder or I write it down, then it'll remind myself when I get home to do what I'm supposed to do. And also going along with that, you need to stay proactive and don't procrastinate. Because if you procrastinate, which means you just put off your work until the very end, then your work's not going to be quality. And without quality, the teacher's not going to like it and you're not going to get very good grades. And that's just pure honesty and a lot of people don't like that, but it's true. And most importantly, through all of the homework, extracurriculars, and other things that you're doing at this time, make sure that you do set aside some time for yourself just to relax and unwind. Because if you don't, you can otherwise just pile up all of that work from school and get stressed out. 
Now I'm not saying don't do your homework, you definitely need to do it and set aside time to do it, but also set aside time so that you can relax and unwind because if you don't have some time to just chill out, then you can get super stressed, or at least I know that I do that. And it's okay to take breaks and let your mind rest. At my school we have this thing called brain breaks, which our teachers are all aware of. So I think about halfway through each of our classes, our teacher lets us go outside and walk a little bit around the hallways so that our brain can just take a minute, breathe, rest, and then we go back in the class and do more work. And that's also something that's a pretty good study tip, I think, is when you're at home, if you just wanna take a break, maybe breathe a couple times, maybe go for a walk, probably not get on social media because that can be distracting down a rabbit hole, but things like other things like that, then you can just rejuvenate, let your brain rest for a minute, and then you can get back to that study. So that will be it for this video. I know that this video is a little bit shorter than usual. I hope that that's okay. So if you guys liked it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. Like I said before, my Instagram is in the description box below, so please go check that out. And that's everything for this video, so I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Bye, guys. Mm.